Hey, so we're back with Call of Duty 3, and yeah, there's two games open, a lot of balance, there's one capture flag, one team battle, uh, both on the same map, Poisson, Poison, po I think it's a French word, so I think you do say a Poisson, so I don't know, so let's try this one, capture the flag, because I don't really like team deathmatch that much. Now I don't have um, a drink. You know, for every time we die, you know, that we've been doing with Battlefield. I don't think I'm going to do that with uh, Call of Duty 3. But I think someone wanted me to play the Medic one time. They said, hey, can you play the Medic if you play Call of Duty 3 again? And, yeah. And that guy needs muted. Who is that guy? Ruan or something? You. No. There, you. We are in the Xbox One, but it, it still has the old 360 menus. United Kingdom. I always like that. You could see where people were from on the 360. You can't do that now. And now he's still talking, even though he's muted. Or he's not talking. His mic's just making. Hmm. How do I mute? Oh, I might have muted the wrong person before. Oops, sorry if you, if you happen to be watching this, I muted you. Yeah. The medic reviving in this game is very finicky. Because you can't just press it, you have to go up and hold it. And we're losing, but I don't... Oh, we're about to... game's about to end. Yeah, that doesn't matter too much. <laughs> All right then, another. We would have had that flag. We would have. <laughs> One guy has a very electric he mic. Scores. I don't know oh. who's talking, so I can't meet them. Yeah. Pretty sad. Oh, we'll go. One, one more game. But yeah, I'm looking for a new game to put on the channel. Yeah, that guy's one more game too. Okay. Hmm. This is not a good map for a, for a shotgun, as you can see. Line of sight in Call of Duty Three. <laughs> it's more akin to a battlefield game sometimes. I mean, look, there's vehicles, there's tanks. I can revive people. Yeah. Textures look beautiful. For a game that came out, what, 2006? This looks like, a, this looks a lot better than most indie games on Steam. Like, half of those look, I mean, this looks better than Verdun. Come on. But, you know, that's, I'm not holding that against Verdun. Verdun's a great game that, you know. So, even though I don't have a drink, I do have a um, Gatorade energy fuel bar, but I don't know if I'm going to eat that like during a Call of Duty 3 match. Because usually I, uh... Is there anything? No, there's people. I thought there wasn't anyone playing. Hmm. There's still people connecting. Where the enemy is. Oh, I see an enemy. Ah! He has a uh, sniper rifle. Or, not sniper rifle. Bolt action. See? Can't really play the medic. Um, not enough line of sight. I mean, I can play this. With a submachine gun, it's a little bit better. Whoa. You don't know if um, 
team killing is on, so. Ah, he sees me. Flag return. Could get a tank, but eh. I'm not too good at tank combat, so. So I don't know, I don't know what game I want to put on the channel because um, there's a lot coming out, but I don't know how many would fit the channel. <laughs> Almost committed suicide there. Dr. Billy disconnected. No, not Dr. Billy. Ah. Oh, what happened? Am I getting auto balanced? No, that was weird. Why has no one done this? There's one over there, though, so that's good. The uh, guy was immediately gonna run into it. Ah. Oh. oh, no one suggests Battalion 1944. I've, I'm not dealing with that game anymore. And you know, them and their lying. Okay, that's our teammate. Trees. Those trees actually still look good. Pen down. Ah. I flinch in this game is pretty bad. From depending on the gun. That's how they balance Call of Duty. They, they put heavy flinch in. I hate flinch. But then in Black Ops 1, they had a perk that reduced flinch. And then people kept calling it a crutch or something. I'm like, they don't have it in the game. They don't have flinch in the game. You know? Or something like that. Huh? Isn't this the wrong site for the World War II bar? Isn't this the World War One bar site? Wait. Okay, look at the magwell and tell me if it has, like, extended... Ah! This is a World War One bar. This isn't a World War Two bar. Ah. Kind of weird that they have it modeled as the World War One bar. Because if it was a World War II bar, it'd have, um, the, on the magwell, they added these two little flanges, I guess you'd call them? They're like two pieces of metal that come out and it's supposed to help guide the gun, or guide the reload. 
I don't think they worked at all. I think they just added some unnecessary weight. Because, like, the World War One bar weighed, I think, like, 14 pounds. And, like, the World War Two bar weighs, like, 16 pounds. So they added, like, that much weight. kind of weird that the counter that the Germans get to the bar is the STG on their heavy class, heavy assault class. When really, they're not really comparable guns. I mean, this is a 30 6 and that's an 8mm Kurtz. The FG-42 is a much better comparison to the bar than the STG. They also, like, ruined the, the, like, the World War One bar and World War Two bar is, are so different. Because, like, the World War One bar, a good gun. World War Two bar, bad gun. Because they added this five-pound buffer that, like, slowed down the fire rate. But I think before... I don't know. I think that's, yeah, I think that's a glitch if you stand on the flag. Return flag. I, I, I just came from there. It takes like four consecutive hits. There we go. that kill him. Grenades are weird in Call of Duty 3 if I remember. Because remember this isn't an FPS game menu. This is actually the engine they used to make Spider-Man. And I think in NH one of the um, NHL hockey games. So the fact that they got you know these FPS an FPS game to work on that engine is crazy. In under six months because they this game was rushed. Was it six or eight months? Still, the game was rushed, and that's why there's a lot of. That's why the multiplayer is. Yeah, I'd say the multiplayer is fine. I mean, like, what they were able to accomplish in this little time, you know, making the game for what four systems, I think it was. Because I'm pretty sure it's on the P3 
PS2, original Xbox, PS3, 3, and 360, but it didn't come out on PC. Into the cellar. It's mine. Oh, I forgot you have to actually, you have to actually carry it. Oh, well, there's a tank there. Oh, they score. high-stakes game of Call of Duty 3, capture the flag. Yeah, this game still looks good. Like, that that right there, that doesn't look bad. You could put, you could put a screenshot of that on Steam and people would say it looks good. There are a lot worse looking FPS games on Steam, so... Imagine if, oh, if this game got an Xbox One X patch, like uh, Fallout 3 did, oh, I might have to buy an Xbox One X instead of just a regular Xbox. I mean, I know I'm getting, I know I'm going to buy an Xbox One X if my Xbox One breaks. Like, it, that's, you know, I'm just going to shell out the cash for an Xbox One if mine breaks. If Xbox One X, you know. Even though I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of it, because I, I don't even have a 1080p TV. I only have a 7... Well, technically it goes up to 1080i, but... But Xbox One doesn't support 1080i. The PS4 does, which is weird. Because they're both on, like, very similar hardware. But I, maybe it's because, um... The PlayStation 4 is running Unix, and the Xbox One is technically running Windows. And a very, they're both very modified versions of those bases, but. You know what PlayStation should do? I have an awesome idea. PlayStation should release their operating system. Like how you can put Windows on anything? You should be able to put the PlayStation operating system on like anything. How cool would that be? Like, I saw a PS3 emulator, and I kind of thought that was really stupid. I'm like, why would you ever want a PS3 emulator when you could just go buy a PS3? Like, I, I don't understand the point of emulators of consoles you can just still buy in stores. Like, I can someone explain the reason why you would ever want a PS3 emulator? Oh, better graphics. Oh. If that's the only reason, I... I mean, that's really dumb. Like, better graphics are... And, yeah, I'm kind of being a hypocrite there a bit. Because I was like, oh, if this game got a Xbox One X, X patch, but... I don't know. Like, I don't really care for the graphics. Like, like I said, I, I play Verdun. Verdun doesn't have good graphics. But I don't care. You know, I still like Verdun. Or I used to play it. Graphics only matter so much. If the gameplay isn't good with the graphics, then they don't. Then the graphics don't matter at all. But you have to admit, this game has very good-looking weapon models. I mean, look how, look at the detail on that site. Like every little crevice, because that what I. Because usually, when you make a game, you make a high poly model, and then you have to reduce its polys. I don't think. I think they just made high poly models, and then they didn't make low poly models. missed <laughs> I 
don't know. I just don't like PC gaming that much. Like, and maybe it's because I don't really like Windows. Like, dealing with Windows. And Windows isn't, like, controller friendly. Still waiting for, you know, a proper PC that you can control with a controller. Like, one that has, like, a dashboard, like a console, instead of a desktop. There was this program that allowed you to control the Windows 8, um, like, start menu with a controller. But I don't think you can, I don't think that works anymore. It was real cool, because I had it downloaded for a little bit. It was a definitely a neat program, but the problem is, is, um, sure it brings up the, it brings up the Windows start menu when you press the middle button on an Xbox controller, but that also brings up Steam. So it would kind of break itself if you brought up both at once. Oh, we, we have not got their flag once. And eh, not like that matters. I don't really care. Doesn't matter if you win or lose. Call of Duty 3, I mean, like I said in previous videos, you know, there's no leaderboards. I mean, nobody plays the ranked mode. There's a guy in there. Wow, that sucked. One grenade coming right up. It's mine. I think someone's calling my phone. It is my friend. However, I'm not going to answer it. Maybe in 10 minutes, if he's still not doing anything. Well, I mean, he, he works, but, um... Like, he doesn't do anything at his work. He's the, uh, he works for a gas company. And he goes around shedding off people's gas. You know, who don't pay. And, like... Um... Uh, it's just, like, there's not a lot of work. That was good, that was... Hey, Trooper, good hanging in there, dude. <laughs> Hi, I gotta go, guys. Hey, he congratulated me. That's a good. That's a good person. Um, I didn't know he was gonna congratulate me. Sorry if you watch this. Um, it's just yeah, I kind of mute people for recording. If you happen. All right.